Hello friend, I am Ajit. Today I am going to discuss about cold and flu treatment. So first of all, we will see the definition of the two term. Cold is the most common disease in the world. This is the most common disease in the world and this is a contagious viral infection of the upper respiratory system or upper respiratory passage upper respiratory passage include that is nose throat and sinus so this is the viral infection which is mainly caused due to the viral or virus or it also causes a bacteria also so they are mainly affecting the upper respiratory tract including that is nose throat and sinus and cold can affect the air and lungs if you say about lungs that will come under lower respiratory system or it will come under lower respiratory tract <coughs> so flu is also a contagious now we are going to focus on flu definition Fully, this is also contagious viral infection. It also affect the nose, throat, and lungs. Mainly, this uh, they are affecting in cough and flu. Mainly affecting upper respiratory tract. And this cold and flu mainly spread through communities. And if you see about cause uh, causes of cold and flu, there is the nasal deformities nasal polyp and bacterial and viral infection is the main cause of the cold and flu and environmental factor also leads to cause of cold and flu and allergy mainly dust allergy that also cause of cold and flu and pollutant also cause of cold and flu what are the clinical symptoms or clinical features you can say so what are the clinical features and symptoms we will see in that patient with cold and flu first uh, and most important thing that is nasal congestion we can see in patient with cold and flu nasal congestion and patient may be have fever and fatigue fatigue means extreme tiredness and patient may complain with uh, headache sore throat and cough sore throat, throat that is come under upper respiratory tract and patient may be complain of runny nose blocked nose nost blockage of nostril so there may be one nostril or two nostril may be blocked due to the cough and cold and uh, sneezing coughing hoarse voice dental pain dental pain also cause this dental pain dental pain is the features of the cold and flu patient so dental pain pain can cause can be happen for a flu and cold patient and one more important thing that is facial tenderness you can see in patient with cold and flu patient so mainly our intention to focus on the treatment portion so now i am going to about uh, discussing about treatment See, this is the treatment for the adult patient or adult patient who is uh, associated with that is cold and flu so first of all we can give medicine this is the probable treatment for that cold and flu so if you have any complaint of cold and flu so first you have to discuss with your physician so this is the for information purpose i am giving this information for uh, your information that is you that is tablet rhinostat bd bd means bis in die that is two times pc post sebum after food five days this tablet you can prefer for that cold and flu and you can also prefer this is the alternative way cyanidist you can give this drug also 500 milligram BDPC 5 days so if 
now i am going to there may be very various condition will be if patient complain with fever cold and flu is there if alone with that fever is there that time what kind of treatment you have to give with that patient so you'll give for fever that is anti pyretic drug that is calpol or paracet that is same there is no differentiated only branded uh, there is only branded product this also branded this also branded so there is generic material is same both are quantity paracetamol only so we can prescribe any medication along this in this room type in this medication in this to in between two you can prescribe any medication that is calpol or faracid that is 650 mg bdpc 3 days or up to fever is not subsided you can give this medication and this uh, calpol that is uh, anti pyretic analgesic and it has a slight if slight uh, action that is anti inflammatory action also there that is not that much and condition 2 if patient complain with sneezing and itching so that time what medication you have to give that time you will can give that is cetrizin so you can prescribe cetrizin set that is nothing but antihistamine drug 10 mg bd pc 3 days so cetrizin is antihistamine for to prevent that uh, sneezing and itching condition condition if the patient complain with cold and flu is there if along with that if complain with no, blocking of nostrils so that time you should give nasal drop so nasal drop that is otrivin two drops two times per day this will be useful for the decongestion nasal decongestant and condition one more condition if patient complain with cough cold and flu is there he alone with that if complain with cough that time you will give that is syrup that is called fenshedile 100 mg bd pc and 10 mg for one times 10 mg will she will means patient will take and one more that is if this drug is not available you can go with grelintus that is grelintus it has a effect on that is anti allergic non narcotic and cough suppressant so this is the drug of choice for the cough and it is a cough suppressant so you can give this drug for patient with cold and flu along with cough is there that time you should give this you may prefer for this drug and if you see there is a laryngitis or pharyngitis laryngitis means inflammation in larynx pharyngitis in means inflammation in pharynx so that time you may prescribe some uh, antibiotic also that is azicam azicam is nothing but azithromycin so you can prefer for that uh, drug also azithromycin in case of uh, in inflammation in uh, larynx and pharynx and you can give cef cefexim means that is cephalosporin antibiotic for patient with uh, means uh, larynx and pharynx infection this is a cephalosporin antibiotic cefexim 200 mg you can give that cefexim also so this is the treatment for the <coughs> patient with the cold and flu so this is the complete treatment for the and there is a different different condition is there if patient with come if patient complain with uh, cold and flu is there along with that fever is there so that time what kind of medication you have to give that is calpol paracetamol so there is a calpol and paracetamol this is the paracif paracif is nothing but paracetamol 
so you can prescribe this medication also and condition 2 that is sneezing and itching condition that time you should prescribe that is cetrigine nothing but cetrigine that is antihistaminic drug and uh, patient have a blocking of nostril that time you should give nasal drop that is otrivin and if patient complain with cough so that time we will give that is pen she dial 100 milligram share up is there that time you can give this also and gray lint dust 100 milligram you can give and if you see there is a lower respiratory tract infection that time you should uh, go with that antibiotic that is azithromycin azithromycin is the best medication for the respiratory tract infection you can prescribe this medication also and cephalosporin also cephalosporin antibiotic also useful for the respiratory to prevent the respiratory tract infection so this is the information for the cough and cold means cough and flu patient and there is a different condition so thank you watching these videos